St. Lawrence Seaway takes a major stride towards completion north of Messina, New York, and with it, a great international hydroelectric power development through the creation of Lake St. Lawrence. 1,000 official spectators are on hand, including the chairman of Ontario's Hydroelectric Commission, New York's Governor Harriman and Robert Moses, along with some 55,000 others awaiting the big moment. Thirty tons of dynamite blast open a 600-foot copper dam that held the river from the site of the world's largest man-made lake. In three days, it will cover 100 square miles, enabling seagoing vessels to sail smoothly through the former international rapids. An achievement that brings nearly to completion the taming of the great river that drains the Great Lakes and almost half the continent. On a visit to Scotland, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip visit the ancient kingdom of Fife, coal rich for over seven centuries. And to the delight of Scott miners, descend Ross Pitt, newest of the Fife colliery. It's the first time the Queen has ever gone down into a mine. The royal couple took separate tours through the underground network of tunnels. The Duke, incidentally, refused to wear coveralls. A novel and entertaining experience for all concerned. Elizabeth's white coveralls remained almost spotless, testimony to the modernity of the Roths mine. Prince Philip got to technical talk with many of the miners, brightening up what would otherwise have been just another dull day down below. A royal tour that has its deeper aspect. Girls, 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 everyone lovely and talented. One from nearly every state in the Union, including Alaska. Plus Hawaii, Canada, the District of Columbia, and New York City. 52 entrants narrowed down to 10 before the final talent contest in the series of eliminations that make up the annual Miss America tourney. A treat for the eyes of 17,000 spectators in Atlantic City Convention Hall. The winner, a brunette miss from Mississippi, Mary Ann Mobley. The 21-year-old co-ed is 5 feet 5, weighs 114 pounds, and her choice is a popular one. Miss America 1959 receives her crown from last year's queen, Marilyn Van Derber. Mary Ann will take a year off from college. When she goes back, she'll enjoy a $10,000 scholarship, one of the prerogatives of royalty.